With more on how the Shaps impacting the Sod Dogs, our Leah Doherty's live from Hodgetown. Leah, I know it's hot out there, but a coast has been pretty hot from the plate as well. Yeah, Ryan, we're in wrapping up right now week two of this five week season. And this typically would be the time you would start to see fatigue set in for these guys. This schedule is a grind and it's not something they're exactly used to seeing in college where they typically have they typically have more breaks between games and not to mention we've been seeing this triple digit heat that certainly doesn't make any things easier. Acosta says he was fortunate enough to work out in Lubbock for two weeks before the season and started getting back in shape while also adjusting to the heat. Now that clearly paying off for the LCU outfielder who was named the TCL's player of the week on Tuesday, leading the league with 14 RBIs and a 425 batting average. Everything comes together when 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 you talk about eating, eating healthy, uh, sleeping good, and I just been doing that. In the beginning, I was a little, you know, exhausted, but now I'm getting used to it and I, I feel good about it. To be honest, I don't I don't feel like nothing is like bothering me right now because like. I feel like whenever you're in college, well, it's, it's kind of hard because you got to study, you got to do homeworks, but now it's just so much fun. I just get to play baseball and that's what I love and nothing is bothering me right now. It's not. First pitch for the Rough Riders in the Sog Dogs is set at 7.05. Now the Rough Riders actually haven't played a game since July 2nd. They had COVID-19 cases confirmed within their front office staff, so they had to cancel all of their games this past week. So they will be heading into this series well rested. We'll see if that pays off for them. Reporting from Hodgetown, I'm Leah Doherty.